go to Design she, Center, why would you not type in Design Center? You said look up Grand Homes. Is that Grand what you Homes said? Grand Homes Design Center, That's not what you said. That's not I what you shouldn't have said. to tell you. Yeah, you, you know. You, oh, you put it in your GPS call, call, last call, time. Call, 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 call. I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. No, I'm not even. I got my car. Alright, so today we went to our, um, what's it called? Our builders meeting to do our upgrades and everything, the um, styling of our home. So we picked our cabinets, we picked our flooring, um, all that good stuff we picked. And let me just tell y'all that everything adds up so quickly. Like, So they give you standard everything. And let me just tell you, standard is never cute. It never, it's never what you want. It's never what's in the model. So just be prepared. If you're building a home, have plenty of money saved up for that look you wanna go for or for all the upgrades, cause it's gonna be another 20K probably. So right now we're at our lot. Um, I'll show y'all. So this is our lot. We wanted to get this corner lot y'all, but if we got the corner lot, it would have been an extra 50K. So we moved over just one hair and it's still pretty big and it was only 30K. So that's another thing. So you have your lots, you have your standard lots, which is the standard size. It's usually not big. Um, we wanted an oversized lot cause we know we want to pull a pool in, pool in later. Um, we want to do a lot of activity in our backyard. You know, we wanted to make it our oasis. So we did get an oversized lot. Depending on the builder, all the oversized lots are gonna be different price ranges. Your corners are gonna be the most sought after. Y'all a dog coming. And I don't do motherfucking dogs. I can't stand Ricky, cause I know he whistled that dog over here, y'all. And he makes me so fucking sick. The dog that just came over here tried. My husband makes me tired because I don't do dogs. He knows I don't do dogs. He just whistled that motherfucking dog over here. He out there. Tickle. With the dog dry, just walking. Why did the dog come to me? I didn't call him. Anyway, so yeah. So that's another thing to think about. If you're building a new home, um, you got to pick your lot. If you want a standard size lot or do you want to upgrade it and get an oversized lot? We know we wanted an oversized. So we had to factor that in onto the price on top of the price of the home. Then you have to factor in the upgrades on top of the price of the home. So yeah, building a home for the ground up is not for the week. Every single thing costs like, I'll show y'all the tile, everything we picked, upgrade. The flooring, upgrade. Carpet, upgrade. Like, they literally give you the bare minimum. And when you're building a home, you're putting all this money into this home. You don't want the minimum. You want it to be how you want it to be because it's custom. So you're going to have to spend a lot of money. So definitely that's another thing you have to prepare for. Make sure you have your money saved up. And usually they want all this money up front. So for the upgrades, we have to at least put 50% down for the upgrades before they start building to make sure we're going through with everything. Just how it is. And then we had to put the 20K down for our lot to hold the oversized lot. And that's not even including the down payment on your home. So, so I'm just looking at our lot. All of this is going to be sidewalk. I think they said the house has to sit at least 10 feet from the curb. 
and we have a three car garage so it's gonna be a nice and wide and our lot is pretty wide i think our lot does taper off once you go toward the back like where that house is that's where our line is and the lot does taper off a little bit but it's still pretty wide yeah this is our first official meeting we still have to go through a couple more meetings with the um, builder and all that but we're just getting started i cannot wait until we break ground will we break ground another video coming soon off another day mina monroe all right guys so we are headed to the design center for round two so we're gonna go pick out all the designs we'll take you guys with us and we'll see how much money we spend today got my checkbook i'm ready to blow the bank account up okay but yeah so round two we're going to the main design center um Dallas and so we'll pick out everything. It's a three hour appointment. This is not what did you you went to the other grand I said Grand Homes in Addison you said yes. Yes, but it is in Addison, remember? Oh see, he done went to the wrong place. We can go finna be late at this point. It's Grand Homes Design Center. Did you put design center? No, I did. I put Grand Well then that's your fault. I asked you personally. Who? I got my Starbucks. Watch out, Starting in the way. To Grand Homes Design Center. If we're going to Design Center, why would you not type in Design Center? You said look up Grand Homes. Is that Grand Homes Design Center? That's not what you said. Home, you said. I shouldn't have to tell you. Yeah, you know. You, you, oh, you put it in your GPS Carla, Carla, last Carla, time. Carla, Carla, Carla. I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did. No, I'm not even. I got my Starbucks. I'm ready. Three hour appointment. Let's get it. You just stole the school from. Ain't even got no schools up here. Where the fuck she get that school from? She got it before they took them away. Never was. They've been charging at her house. But yeah, so we'll be there, I guess, in 10 more minutes. I don't know. The appointment was at 10 o'clock. So. If we're late, then it just takes away from our time because we have only so many scheduled hours with the design center. And that's why we couldn't go to last Friday because another appointment, they had another appointment. They said, so if they take away from our time, then, you know, you don't get your full time and we need all hours, honey. So, yeah, see you there. Are you ready? to design our home. Next Halloween can we be bananas and pajamas? <laughs> no. Here we go. So what brick we going with? That white squirrel? Oh, just don't have no Wizard of Oz door. Oh, okay. That's well, okay. I haven't heard that one. <laughs> I usually hear Dungeon Door, Castle Door, but I haven't heard Wizard of Oz yet. Wizard in here? I know. Yeah, you're barely hanging out. Yeah, you're barely hanging out. Yeah. So it won't be black, it'll be white. I told it to come out the garage and it went the wrong way. <laughs> like when you tell uh the car to come get you from the front of the store. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so we left the design center. You just bought it. Oh my goodness. I hate it. We left the design center and we spent a whopping 
41,000. So when you go to the design center, this is the part where you design your home. So you pick your countertops, you pick your sink, you pick your floors, you pick your carpet. That's everything you get. So all in end, it's the from the sales price, this is gonna be additional 40K. So now we're about to go through the list and see what we rather take off and what we rather keep. So in this part of designing your home, you don't wanna do too many upgrades because you gotta think about it. You can, some stuff, the builder is gonna charge you more to do and some stuff you can do yourself afterwards. So you don't wanna go too crazy with upgrades, but if it's stuff like um, lighting and structural stuff, you wanna add it now because it'll take more money to knock down those walls and, electric, and add everything in later, you know? So you wanna compare what's better to add now and what's better to add later. So now we're gonna go through the list and see if we can take anything off so we don't have to come up with 40K. Because depending on what builder you go with, some will ask you to supply the upgrades wholly. Like they want you to pay for that out of pocket. They won't roll it into your home loan. And that's what our builder asks us to do. So now we have to come up with that amount of money. Some builders would just ask you to put maybe 5K down. Like you can do all your upgrades you want and we need 5K for that. So it just really depends. And that's one of the questions you wanna ask before you sign a contract is, how much do I have to put down for my design part? So then you can compare. Okay, this one wants 15, five, half or whatever. So we're just debriefing, going over everything. And so the important thing to remember, usually you'll have two or three appointments. For us, we get two three hour increment appointments. That's what comes with our um, contract. So the first one, we add everything we want we can possibly think of. Then we'll go through in the second appointment, we'll tell them what we want to take off. So again, you don't want to go crazy with your upgrades, but get what you like. One thing I was big about was the flooring. I didn't want to do carpet in my living area. I didn't want to do carpet in my um, foyer, all that. So we did splurge on the flooring. That's a big chunk of our money because it's not cheap to do flooring. We kept all the standard carpet in the living room, I mean, in the bedrooms, but we did upgrade the carpet upstairs simply because we are gonna keep it. Like, we'll upgrade it maybe later, but... Why are you looking like that? We'll upgrade it later, in 10, five, 10 years, but whatever, but... We want to make sure the flooring is comfortable and it's soft. So we did have to upgrade our padding. We had to upgrade the carpet. So it's up to you to decide. But we're excited. Next we'll have a meeting, a team meeting. And then we'll go from there. She's a bad thing. Fine as hell. Think it's full. Oh my God. That's my baby. Caroline, you divine. Might it be fine.